We'd like to interrupt this episode and let you know that our sponsor this week is us. If you want to see anything about cars, head over to TTC Cars and see things like this. Or for truck and SUVs, head over to the Texas Truck Channel for more stuff like this. All right, boys and girls, it is time for the hill test, and we've got something fun for you today. It is, oh yeah, it's here. Brian, what do we got? <laughs> we've got God's gift to the truck gearhead, the Ford Raptor Woo. R, or Raptor R, if you want okay, to call that. Okay, tell us about it. Tell us about all the goodies. Tell look, us, tell us, tell look, us. Tell first us. of all, number one, as if the EcoBoost wasn't powerful enough at 450, this has 250 more horsepower with a supercharged Predator V8. Yes. And what that means is it's pulled straight from the Shelby, a little bit different tuning, the Shelby 500, not the 350, and it's still supercharged, 5.2, all the power, 700 horse, 640 torque, thing rips. Mm. Now, it's made into a 10-speed auto, which has all the modes. We'll tell you, show you that in a minute when we get inside. And with the Raptor R flavor, you have to get these guys. Mm. And these are BFG KO2 all-terrain TAs, our favorite all-around tire for off-roading and street use and everything else. Has beadlock wheels, and more importantly, these are not the 35s you get on the EcoBoost. Although you can get these on the EcoBoost with a package, these are the 37-inch tall tire. And we've taken the 35 up before, and we yep. didn't really have a problem, so this will probably just no. be easier. Yeah, and also, okay. we've taken the Bronco Raptor with this ex exact wheel and tire package up yes. there, and uh, it just didn't, it laughed it off, yes. honestly. So this might be able to make it. Definitely going to make it. So <laughs> okay. we're, we're going to do the hard line for sure. The question is, how fast will we do that line? Okay. Um, secondly, the approach angle. If you look that out, it has all of it. Now, come over here. The thing rides higher. It's about an inch and a half, two inches higher from what my waist says, getting in and out of it. Um, I think it's actually two inches. You do have a decent breakover, but it is still a 145 inch wheelbase. It's a long truck. So the belly is a bigger deal here than it is on the Bronco flavors. So we have to worry about that a little bit. It might rub. We've rubbed on a lot of trucks going up this on the belly. Um, including some of the Raptors in the past because that 46 degree step is no joke. The show was probably going to rub. What's probably going to rub down here oh, is probably this trailing arm and that's because we have a five link rear. That means you have uh, upper and lower trailing arms and then a track bar or a panhard bar laterally lining up the thing. That means it's on coil springs. Yes. It's not on leaf springs like the old Gen 2 Raptors had and Gen 1 Raptors. Now, I'll be honest, we've reviewed that before. It's great. It's just better here because you have a taller tire for off-road use. Ride's awesome. You also have the Fox live valve shocks. Come show them right here. This guy right here is in an electric valve and it's constantly changing. It has G meters in all four corners. It has ride height sensors, all that stuff. And then based on your drive modes, it either rides incredible or a little more incredible. It's pretty much good everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna set it for, I think, rock crawl. We'll see what we have to work with there. Other than that, there's not much else to talk about except the- Get inside and show us the modes. Okay. All right, hop it on inside. It's the all the goodness you get from the Raptor. Push to start. We have paddle shifters that won't help us at all here today, but we're glad to have it. You hear that? That's the other thing that's gonna help us is we can just laugh our way up the hill because it sounds so awesome. Now, down here are your drive modes. You have a scroll knob here. Push the center to lock the rear diff. Now, you cannot lock the diff until we'll drive on the V8. And that's because you're probably gonna blow up that locker because it has so much power. But you can, unlike a TRX, have this into a drive, which is great for smoky burnouts. Four high, four low, four auto. We're a real big fan of that. If you live in snowy or rainy weather, that just means you can floor it everywhere and not worry about it. Clear this guy right here. Now, modes, as we scroll this thing, you have your options. Normal, sport, tow haul, slippery. But over here's the off-road side, starting with off-road. Nope, it's trying to go into a shift real quick. Baja mode. When you have it in Baja mode, it's for off-road use only because of the exhaust gets louder. You also end up with this front camera and it tells you where your wheels are gonna go based on where you have the steering wheel turned. That's pretty cool, it gives good visibility. You can also go over one more to rock crawl, which is probably what we should do here. What do you think? Oh, they also have trail turn assist. Oh yeah, the trail turn assist here. Um, where is it? Oh, it's actually in the pages maybe. It's in the pages. Oh yeah, no, that's one pedal drive right here. Okay. okay, and that's with trail control. And um, so that allows you to do, uh, basically it, it runs the, if you let off the gas, it's dragging the brake and it stops it from rolling. It won't coast at all, one pedal drive. I'm not worried about that today. Yeah. But there is trail turn assist in the menus and we've shown that before. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to, we got the hard line, we got the bypass line. Um, we're just not gonna need the bypass line. That's, that's plain and simple. So we're gonna do the hard line, see what we can do. 
one we're gonna try one wheel drive mode let's see what happens so One-wheel drive, by the way. <laughs> okay, Brian, so <laughs> what happened there is we... Uh, I put it in two-wheel drive and left the diff open. Yeah and, yeah, and you had so much clearance that we didn't rub at all, so no. there was no issue about bumping it and getting no. the speed you needed to get over it. Um, Brian, this, uh, this truck's kind of boring for our hill test. It kind of is, but, but let's show the one-pedal drive and how okay. this does that. Let's do it. I'm going to back down instead of doing a funny line. Go right. back, because why not? This is the first time we've ever backed down the hill test. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, pretty sevens are awesome. All right, Brian, you want to show them how to do one pedal drift? Yeah, so I've put it, I'm still in off-road use only here. Let's see, what mode am I in? I'm in Baja still, so let's go to rock crawl. I've got it in four low, and I want to activate one pedal drive, okay? Use set button for trail control. So I'm going to hit, this is like the traction control. It's on its own. Good luck, get the camera. I'm not touching the gas or the brake. It's set for one mile an hour. No gas or brake. Four low. Four low. Now the rear dip is locked. Let's see if it can do it. That's incredible. Well, Brian, that was even more boring. Yeah, I know for you, but that's the best we've ever had go up the same. Yeah, not what, weird, no ABS clicking, right. none we've of got, that. Toyota has a version of this, some other stuff. Let me show them what it does here. So as you turn it on and you use the set control, the cruise control buttons, it will then go in half mile an hour increments all the way from one, let's see how far it goes. Uh, looks like it will run itself up to 10 miles an hour on its own, that it controls gas and brake. And the 37s, that drop coming down the hill felt like I didn't go down it yet. Right. It's unbelievable. All right, Brian, with that, um, that's the hill test. We're going to drop in a burnout clip because it's more fun than this stuff. Yeah, sure, sure. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>